first on five at this hour. The milk truck saga is finally over. Crews finished removing the last bits of wreckage that created an eyesore on the bay since the weekend. News 5's Chad Petrie has the story from the causeway. For the first time in several days, nobody driving into work gets to see the odd sight of a truck floating in Mobile Bay. Overnight, they were hauling it up in pieces. Crews worked roughly eight hours to slowly yank the remaining pieces of that Borden's milk truck out of Mobile Bay. The eastbound bayway was shut down overnight while crews finished their work. The pieces were finally hauled away by about 4.15 this morning, just dodging the start of the morning commute. Workers say it was a tough job. On top of the cool weather, there were other challenges. And then you got different obstacles you got to face with the deep water, deep mud, things like that. So it kind of makes things a little awkward at times. When you're picking up something that large anyway, you got to be real careful. You'll of course remember Saturday morning this truck plunged into the bay over the eastbound side of the bridge. The driver was hurt but expected to recover. Accidents like that are rare, but they do happen every so often. Reporting from the Causeway, Chad Petrie, News 5. Thank you, Chad. Well, News 5 wanted to give you a closer look at the truck and the wreckage, so we traveled out to that trailer by boat and took our official News 5 drone pilot, Jim Johnson, out to shoot some footage. As you can see here, we were able to capture some pretty incredible shots of the scene. We were able to get right above the truck, and as we got closer, we could see that much of the debris from Saturday had already been cleared out. On Saturday, the scene looked much different with milk jugs and cartons floating in the bay. The crash happened early Saturday morning and tied up traffic all day and into the night.